welcome back to my channel, Liz Your Girl Scry here today. And if you are new, hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss a new upload. And today's video is going to be a favorite of you guys. It's going to be a thrifting haul, part like three or four of my channel. And without further ado, let's just get into my mini haul. So to start off the haul, it's going to be music related. If you guys know, I'm just obsessed with music, 70s, 80s, you know. I really wasn't looking for anything, but they had all these cassettes on sale. So the first one we got is Miss Dolly Parton. It is Heartbreaker from, I think, 79 or maybe 1980. I don't know why there is an awful shrine on it. Anyways, I really like this. She looks absolutely stunning in this. And it was only 25 cents, I think. Anyways, super happy about that. And then the next one, if you guys saw my last video, which if you guys haven't, check it out. Um, The vinyl collection. I got Miss Olivia Newton-John. I'm trying to make sure that there's no shine, but it's, oh, there we go. No, um, just so cute. Um, I had not found any, like, Olivia, like, on cassette before, and I was really surprised. This one I was really happy about because it showed, like, all her studio albums and stuff up until that point in, like, 79 or early 80. I'm not sure when this has the copyright of. Anyways, or maybe 77. I'm not sure. But it's got, like, if not for you, if you let me, let me know. Have you ever been mellow? And this part... I have not found these on. I don't think I have one of these. I know I don't. I don't know if I actually have the other one. I never showed it in like my collection. But I found two Carpenter's cassettes. The first one we found when we were thrifting is an old-fashioned Christmas, which I thought was ironic that I found it like after Christmas. But it's in absolutely perfect condition. And I just, it's just so perfect. I love this little card. Um, I could not believe, like I'm, I'm still in shock. Can you tell? Because like I have a hard time like at thrift stores. I've never found anything Carpenter's related except... When I first started collecting in 2016, I found uh, two of my first albums, which if you guys haven't seen my Carpenter's collections, check them out in the description below. I have a lot of Carpenter stuff that you guys would be surprised about. And then this one is Close To You. I did also a ranking Carpenter's Close To You tracks a while ago, and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, you guys might be surprised about what I said in there. This is absolutely perfect. And can you tell that they didn't have their logo yet? It just says Carpenter's written out. And I really like this. I had never seen like the Carpenters like cassette pictures. And that's just so cute. I love it. And now we're going to go on to the clothing part. So when we went, I wasn't really looking for anything. We're mainly looking for like just stuff because of course the clearances that come on after Christmas and stuff that we may have wanted to get that we may not have got Christmas, etc. So I got like three or four, I think three pairs of pants and then like this really cute vintage jacket, which you guys are going to die for. So stay tuned to the end of this part. So these are the first pair of pants I got. They're these really cute brown, like I want to say they're corduroy, but I think they're more like of a velvet. They're really cute. They're kind of long, but they flared at the bottom. And Sam had gotten a pair of corduroy pants for Christmas that so I was like, I want some. But these will just have to do for now. They're really cute. I really like them. And they're really high-waisted. I have an outfit in my head with my Andy Gibb shirt that I got for Christmas. And like that, I can totally see it. Hopefully it works out. Love these. And then just the material, like if you guys are like, I don't know. They're really soft. So I'm really excited about those. And then this next set of pants is actually from Wild Fables. These are like from Target. Like they were $4 or $5. I'm not sure. I can't remember. So they're Wild Fables. So a lot of my um, shirts and stuff, if you guys like see my clothes, um, if you're the girly girls that like like Target, you guys know Wild Fable has some cute stuff. So these jeans are high-waisted and I've been wanting a good pair of distressed jeans. Like Sam has like a ton of like distressed jeans and I'm like, I want those. So when we were thrifting, I found these, this first pair, super cute. I call them mom jeans. I don't think they are though. I don't know if that's what mom jeans are considered, but they're distressed all the way down to like almost the bottom. But I like the fact that they're my skinny jeans and they just like, they're not distressed at the bottom. Super cute. And I haven't had a light pair of wash of jeans like this since I was like eight or nine years old. And then the last pair of pants I got were these super cute. You cannot tell me these aren't cute. They're distressed. They're kind of like acid wash. I'm not sure if they're a vintage brand or not because they look, they look old, but they could just be the look. Cause I know like a lot of brands nowadays are doing like vintage, like inspired looks, if that makes sense. But the brand is Tinseltown and they're like acid wash, distressed, but they have, can you see this? They have butterflies all embroidered all over the entire pant leg. My favorite part was when I got home and I didn't realize that they were distressed all the way even at the ankles. So I'm going to have to find a decent pair of shoes that will not like look funky with this. So excited to wear these coming up in the springtime. And then this is the thing that y'all have been waiting for. If you guys like vintage clothes or if you guys are on my channel because you have found me because of my vintage content. You guys ready? 
Are you ready? This amazing jacket. It's from Southwest Clothing, I think. Let's see if I got the label right. Southwest. Oh, Southwest Canyon. Um, it's a wool jacket. Um, I cannot get over it. It's absolutely stunning. And like the little fringe. I know my wet lighting's not the best today, but it's got like this little fringe you can see. And then all these cute little button studs all around the wrist part. And then on the bottom as well over here, it's got the fringe and then like the buttons. And then the inside, it's completely like satin lined. I think that's the word. And then I think this is from like 80s or uh, early 90s because the sh famous shoulder pads that I get in all my vintage clothes. If you guys have been on my channel for a while or if you want to go binge watch all my clothing, like vintage hauls. All my stuff that I get from this one thrift store has all the shoulder pads. Which I'm not complaining. This jacket is so cute. It was only $6.99. There was a windbreaker that I really wanted to get. Not going to lie. And it was like $17.99. And it was from the 80s. I was like, what? Is this made of gold or what? But this is the vintage jacket. Super cute from Southwest Canon. If you guys know anything about this like brand or anything, let me know in the comments below. And then, oh, I forgot. It has this cute little fringe up here as well. But that is my thrifting haul find this video and thank you guys so much for watching my vintage mini like thrifting haul if you guys want to see more thrifting content or vintage content make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below do not forget to subscribe because it is free and i'll catch you guys in my next video which hopefully will be soon bye